So, do you have yourself a little lap dog that's a royal pain in the keister when it comes to doing their nails? Hang tight, peeps, because I have the solution for you. The burrito. The burrito. In addition to my full-length How to Show Groom Your Dog episodes, I also share little snippets with tips and tricks on how to get you in and out real quick. So, be sure to subscribe and ring that little bell so you don't miss a single episode. When Lana and I filmed our How to Show Groom Your Chihuahua episodes, we actually started with her little male named Tupac. There's really not a lot of grooming with a smooth coated chihuahua. He is the sweetest, happy-go-luckiest little dude who happens to be a wonderful example of a smooth coat chihuahua, but he also happens to not like getting his nails done. And then he fights me like crazy. We are going to do what's called the burrito. And we're gonna take our nice little handy-dandy Royal Canaan towel, and we're gonna lay it on our lap. We're gonna stick the dog in it. We're gonna tuck his hands. And I'm gonna swaddle him like a baby. Wrap him up like a little burrito. So you're gonna wrap them up nice and snug so that they can't move. But don't forget, keep those front paws out. Just like so. It's the burrito. And then we're gonna do his nails. Quite the difference, eh? This technique is often used by vets and groomers and cat owners to trim their nails but it works on any smaller dog. You know, one that will fit in the size of a towel. The towel, it helps keep them contained, but it also helps keep them calm, which is extremely evident in this video. If you watch the long coat episode, you will see exactly how Lana dremels the dog's nails. She followed the same techniques and took care of all of his nails on his front paws. Nice and short, your nails as short as possible. It's important to keep their feet from splaying so they have good grip. Once you're done with the front, now it's time to work on the back. Pull the feet, the feet is out of the burrito. I've noticed that back feet inspire less fighting. I don't know why, honestly, but as you can see here, Mr. Tupac is much more of a willing participant. All right, all right, we're done. And then just like the long coat, they have hair on the pads of their feet. We're gonna have to get that trimmed up. So much so that when it got time to clean the little hairs between the pads of his feet, yeah, he was just laying there like a king in his castle, totally chillaxing. This is my least favorite part of everything that I do besides picking them poop. Nails. Yeah. And speaking of poop... Have you seen our first breeder bitch session yet? What people think we do versus what we actually do. Which is just pick up a lot of poop. <laughs> I will add a link up top and of course down below in the description. Check it out and then run on over to our website and pick up some best in show bitch merch. Don't forget to visit the website bestinshowbitch.com where you can check out tons of merch. We got shirts and aprons and tumblers. So get your best in show bitch gear so we can start traveling to visit you all and create more bitchtastic fun.